Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, video. There's Eduardo. Hi. Hello, Hi. Eduardo. How are you? Hello, Guillermo. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, mister, I have a question for you. I, I start making the homework of, of section three. The platform. Yes. Yeah, but I see the progreso and I'm not increasing. They they don't uh, uh, yes. I don't I don't know if you also have that problem. I have them the same problem. Okay. Yes. Um yes, everybody's having problems in this moment with the platform. That's okay. why, I'm sorry, I was I had a class right now before and um we were doing the same the same issue that their platform uh, okay. the platform was bad, so uh, okay. Don't feel bad, okay. No, I'm joking. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we'll do that right now. Hold on, let me let me open the Where is Juana? I love listening to Juana because she's always happy. Have you seen her? <laughs> always she's smiling. Wow. And I go the most always. Yeah, <laughs> she must be a great boss. Yes. Yeah, she's always high. I can't imagine her angry. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I wish I could be like that. <laughs> But I think that's naturally in you, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I, I say, no, okay, uh, I will relax. I won't fight anymore when I drive. And okay, but uh, I forget. It's pretty <laughs> difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I tell my wife, it's difficult with so many idiots driving in the street. <laughs> yes. But then the, the point is that I shouldn't, I shouldn't um, be angry. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, because if you get angry, you're going to get in trouble. Yes, yes, let, let it go. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, hello, Laura. We have Gary. We have Anna joining in. Kelly is here. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let me share my screen. You see my screen, no? Yeah. Not yet. No, oh, yes. Uh, okay, right. Yes. Okay, so let me see. We are here. <laughs> we are in the reading part. Oh my God, um, yes or no class, the politics in our country are so ridiculous. <laughs> Which one of those? Which one? <laughs> the politicians. Ah, okay. In, in this year or last year or before, let's see. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, can, can I ask you or let's not, let's not talk about politics? No, you can ask me, go ahead. Yeah, but I don't know if people like to talk about politics. Uh, let's not make it an argument. <laughs> okay, I, I have just a question. Yes. In this, in this, our, our, this, our government, they just have one year of, of being elected, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Which of, of we, in my case, I have been in three, in three, in, I have been in three, what the, what the, in three, how to say? Periods. Yeah, 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 except in three periods with different governments. Yes. Okay. Which one of you, of you guys, I think you think have been the worst? <laughs> For me, maybe FMLN. 
No, for me. No, maybe no. arena, maybe arena no, because no. they have been the longer. No, no, it's now is the worst. You think? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Just in one year, I can tell you that. You know, if if I if I base it on if I base it on facts on facts on facts, they have brought me food four times to the door of my house. Yeah, I got sick. They came to my house, gave me medicine. They have called me, and yes, it's my taxes. Yes, it's their obligation, but they done it. Yeah, and the previous others haven't. I don't know. Yeah, and do you know how much money this government owes owe to the household of the Acadias? But you know, um, you know, the Eduardo, before so we can finish, a lot of people say that, that the, this government's taking so much money, much, but then again, the government's saying that they're not receiving money, so uh, you know, it's I don't know who to believe because everybody says no, he, he has taken out. Five thousand million dollars, a hundred thousand million dollars. He has taken out more money than all the other governments. But where do they get that information? Can you show me that? You no. Know, can you show me that? Like really, really? Is that true? No. Really. Yeah, you can see all the loans for Fondo Monetario from the bid. You can't, but you, you can said see millions. Yeah, you can see all the loans exactly. that the government has uh, acquired during this one just one year yeah yeah we are it's more incredible. endeudados i don't know then how to say in that in depth in one year that the past uh, government do it in five years so you know what we're gonna die in the country is always gonna be in debt oh, okay. my child is yeah. in debt. i think i mean we're gonna be more in debt. <laughs> is there a country that is not in debt? <laughs> okay, I think that's the point. Change topic. <laughs> no, 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 okay, but you know, yeah. you know, no yeah, more politics. They, 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 no, they, Harry, but that's interesting. Topic. That's interesting. I'm going to read that because you know it's good to know. Let's. let's uh, I'm going topic. to check that out. Let's change topic. Yeah. I think. I think you're, you're naive. Man. <laughs> change no, topic. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, okay. I'm actually. I'm actually. I'll, I'll be honest with you. The last two times I voted for Arena. When Mauricio Funes won, I didn't vote. I stopped voting because, oh, man. and when he won, I said, okay, okay, uh, they deserve it. And then now I just don't want this old people. <laughs> but it's going to be interesting. I don't know if I'm going to vote, to be honest. Because you have, I, to, you have to vote, but for the regular one. Yeah, but I don't want to take the risk to get sick. Yeah, okay. It's always going to be the same <laughs> that's, problem. That's that's all that's that's all, all the topic. Okay. Yeah, that's what I tell my wife. Let's not go vote because it's a risk, and the politicians are always going to take our money. No. Yes, but, uh, yes, topic. you're right. The same no, topic. No. <laughs> um. Uh. Da, 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 da. Is Rosy Bell Campos is here? Kelly, okay, we're all here. Uh, okay, it says readings. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Have you done this? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me see. It says, okay, let's let's do it. It's gonna be correct, and tomorrow it's not gonna be correct. <laughs> yes, I I have problem with the exercise one point two. Okay. I. I, I put the the sentences that you uh, uh, explain us, and I had only two good uh, um, answers. Okay, I don't we'll, know what happened. <laughs> okay, well we'll see that. Right now. Okay, so look here it says, "Hey, Rick just told me that Benny got fired earlier today. I overheard Benny talking to." Liz, I'm sorry, oops, no, that's right. Excuse me. Eduardo, can you see okay today? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can see it. All right, good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start again. Rick just told me that Benny got fired. Earlier today, I overheard Benny uh, talking to Lisa. He said he was going to tell his boss 
that he wasn't going to work on the Pickens project anymore. Lisa warned him not to talk to the boss, but I guess he did anyway. Then later, I heard Benny telling Fred the same thing. Fred encouraged Benny to think about it first. He warned Benny not to make the decision today because the boss was in a bad mood. What do you think? Hey, do you want to have lunch today? Meet me by the elevator at noon, Jackie. Okay, number one, Benny is the boss or got fired? Got fired. Got, got fired. 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 Okay. Do you know what is the difference? Um, I'm sorry, have, did anybody here lose your job because of the pandemic? No. No, I think. No, teacher. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm asking you that is because the class I have before, I have two students that they told me I got fired because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Really, mm -hmm. fired is a bad is a bad term. Fired is because you did something bad. Ah, okay. Literalmente me echaron. Ah. When it's because of a fuera de sus manos, you know, like the pandemia, then that's called, do you know what that is called? Guillermo, you know. Uh, layoff. Laid off. So you have to say, uh, in that case, you say they laid me off. Yeah, I got laid off. Okay. I got, got laid off. off. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you have to say I got laid off. I got laid off. And that's you know that's that when people say oh, you got laid off, oh man, I'm sorry. You know that's not your fault. Is but when you say mm -hmm. I got fired. Um. ¿Cómo se puede decir en español? ¿Me despidieron o me echaron? Me echaron. Me echaron. Me echaron. Ah, pero me echaron. Hey, me echaron. No, me despidieron. <laughs> me despidieron. O me cortaron. No, no. no. Uh, Juana, well, you, you are a boss. Um, ¿Ya le ha tocado recortar, oh, recortar yes. personal? Yes, teacher. No, pero yes, no teacher. Yes, teacher. Um, let me see. Um, me... Mm, no, despidieron. Despidieron, okay. Yes. Es prescindir de servicios. Oh, okay, good. It would be a okay. polite way to say. No eres tú, soy yo. Eh? <laughs> but imagine in English is better because if you say I got laid off, okay, it's understandable what happened. Yeah, yeah. If you say I got fired, it's understandable what happened. Mm. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I got fired. Okay, you did something bad. Uh, I yes. think in Spanish we can use different words, but in English they are very clear. In yeah, English, they're very so clear. I, I fired. Mm -hmm. or I got laid off. Mm -hmm. So I, I yes. So I told my students, "What did you do?" Because they told me, "Oh, I got fired in the pandemic." But I know what they were trying to say, so that's why I asked them. And what mm -hmm. did you do? Nothing, teacher. They just had to cut personnel also that mm -hmm. you didn't get fired you got laid off <laughs> mm. you got laid okay. off because there was no yeah. option and that's when they learned oh okay fired is because you did something because you i don't know you told you said something bad you were not doing your job you did something really mm -hmm. bad you mm -hmm. got drunk in the work you deserve it you deserted mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. i don't know you you sexually harassed somebody Mm -hmm. Like any excuse, hey, you're fired. Mm -hmm. You're fired. Okay, so let's continue. Let me see. Lisa warned Benny mm. not to, make, not a to make a decision today. today. Not to make a decision today. Good. Fred told Benny um, that the boss was in bad mood. mood. That the boss was in a bad mood. Jackie asked Kate to go to well, lunch, go to with, lunch her. with her. Go to lunch with her.
Okay. Second reading. Dear Anita, I've got to tell you about what happened to me the other night. At the dorm, we have these fire drills from time to time. So what happened was I was exhausted from studying for, my, uh, for a test and I was fast asleep in my bed. Do you understand that expression, fast asleep? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it take a nap or something like this. Uh, asleep es dormido. Ya uh, en el estado, dormido. dormido He's asleep. Mm -hmm. Fast asleep is like dormirse rápido. Fast asleep, yes. Mm -hmm. yep. I do I'm that. I, I fall fast asleep. I can't. Oh, man. I have no problem with sleeping. Sitting, standing. Look <laughs> <laughs> <Lucky> at you. <laughs> Um, and you know what? I like to sleep on the floor. Oh, you too, Laura? Yeah, I enjoy doing that. <laughs> it feels good when you wake up, huh? like, oh, you know, and you crack your back and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so fast asleep in my bed. And in the middle of the night, we had a fire. We had a fire. My roommate, Ling, had to wake me up. So we went downstairs and out of the building to wait for the drill to be over. Everyone else, everyone else in the dorm was outside too. I was so tired and I really wasn't paying attention. The next thing I knew, Everyone was laughing hysterically. I didn't know what they were laughing about. To make the long story short, I had gone downstairs wearing my pajamas with little pink cats all over, all over them. And other things was I was carrying my teddy bear. I was so embarrassed. Write soon and tell me what you're up to. Love your big embarrassed sister, Maria. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing you should come to my neighborhood <laughs> Maria's dorm had a fire false false false, false. false. Ling had to wake up Maria for the drill true, true. true. drill is even a Spanish word verdad hmm? verdad que también se usa drill en español hmm no, what no, is the I don't word? Think so. Simulacro. Simulacro. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, yes, you're right. Simulacro de incendio. Yes. Maria was wearing pajamas with bears on them. No. Oops. What was no, it? No, no. Cats. Cats. They were pink cats. Maria was embarrassed because she was carrying a teddy bear. True. True. All right, they are Ooh. all correct today, but tomorrow <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> yes. Okay, 3.0, it says lesson objective. In this, uh, in this class, participants will learn and practice using the internet terms. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Yes. Internet terms. <clears throat> Give an example of internet terms. Mm, I don't know. Software. Podcast. I'm sorry. Podcast. Okay. Blow. Blow. Yes, yes. Yes. Broadcasting. Yeah, yes. Blow. Streaming. Streaming. Yeah. Yeah. Chat. Chat room. Chat. Oh, yeah. Texting. Uh huh. What? Texting. Oh, texting, yeah, because oh. well, you can also do it on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um. Mm. Chatting. Is in this? Photoshop. Lo voy a photoshopear. Yes. Around. All right. Let's let's listen to the video. See what what happens. Mm. 
Hi again. As you know, we use technology every day. That is why it's important to know vocabulary about technology. Technology buzzwords. 1. Download. 2. Chatroom. 3. Hotspot. 4. Blog. 5. Freeware. 6. Webcam. 7. Podcast. 8. Spyware. 9. Instant messaging. 10. Computer virus. All right. Messaging. 10. Let's, let's see this for curiosity. Uh, Eduardo, okay. download. Can you give me a sentence using download? Yesterday, I download uh, the quiz of, of, your, of, your, of your class. OK, good. But Eduardo, um, if you said yesterday is past and the download is a verb, what is yeah, the past? So, oh, OK, yeah, yeah, but I put that. Oh, so uh, uh, download the password. Download is downloaded. Downloaded, exactly. Yes. So I have. So I. I, I have to say yesterday I downloaded the, the, the quiz. Yes, because download is a verb. Yes. All right. Okay. Good. Good. Good example. Uh, Kelly, give an example with chat room. Uh, yesterday I was in the chat room all the day or during the day because I have. To, to do many things with my co-workers. Very good, very good. You see, right there, when you say I was in the chat room, you have to say like, okay, a chat room is a group. Yeah. So yeah, you said, so yesterday I was in a chat room with my co-workers all day because yeah. we had a lot of work. Who's using Telegram now? Mm, no yet. No, no. Not yet. I Telegram is really it good. I, I like I like Telegram. I mean, I I think I think um, still WhatsApp is easier to use, but Telegram has a lot of good benefits. But I remember oh, yes. I used I used Telegram like five years ago, but nobody used it, so I stopped. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hotspot. Guillermo, give me an example of the hotspot. And remember, um, we're speaking internet terms, Guillermo. <laughs> uh, hotspot. Well, I would say that I just turned on my hotspot. I could say that I turned on the, my cell phone hotspot to share the internet with my wife. Or... Very good. All right. Okay. Question: Who does not know what is hotspot? Me. 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 Okay, Juana. Okay, good. Uh, Guillermo, can you explain to them what is a hotspot? Please. Well, it, a uh, hotspot, it's, uh, it could be a device or it could be an app on your phone or uh, uh, that allows you to share internet. For example, uh, if you, there's an option on your cell phone that you can turn on and you can share your internet with another person. Or as the same, mm -hmm. you can have a hotspot device that allows you to share internet or to have Wi-Fi to share with uh, more devices at home or at work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so thank you. Does your... if maybe you haven't seen it but your phone should have or, or maybe if you have a, a recent phone it, yes. there should be an option that says hotspot oh. yeah and I and, have used it <laughs> oh, okay yeah and yeah what that means is imagine you're at the beach and you have um ¿cómo se llama? Cuando uno tiene crédito, mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. No, you mm -hmm. have. Okay, in, in, you have. No, eh, tengo datos. Oh. Datos that, that... in English is, yeah, it's called credit. So imagine you have datos, but your friend doesn't, and you're in the beach, and he says, Oh my God, I, where can I get internet? And you say, Ah, oh, don't worry. So you turn on your hotspot, and that means mm -hmm. that your telephone will, from your credit will pass the internet to your friend. Mm, cool. now, that you, 
Now that you mentioned datos, datos uh, how do you pronounce data or data? Both, both are correct. Yeah, both are correct, right? <laughs> it's like Iraq, yeah. Iraq. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Yes. Like address or address. In the yes. US, many people said address, no people said address. address. Well, actually, mm -hmm. there, there's a difference because when you say address, is where you live. Yep. When you say address, is dirigirse a. Yeah, it could be a verb, mm -hmm. but some people pronounce it uh, either way. It, yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, where do you live? They say address or address. Oh. Address. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Difficult. Yes. So, okay, so you understand that is hotspot. Yes. Um, okay. All right. Ovidio, give me yes. an example using blog. Okay, I put something in the blog, for example, the, the about the, the president. Okay, <laughs> good. But you put yeah. something in the blog. What is a blog, Ovidio? A blog is, is a, a place where the, some, someone can, can write what, what- A topic? He, uh, what he is, uh, uh, I think, what I was uh, thinking about the, the, the topic or, or- Okay, good. Do you have a blog? No, no. Okay, because here then you would have to say, here then you would have to say, um, I put something in my blog or I put something in Funes blog. I put something in Parker's blog. I put something- uh -huh. Okay. I don't know if Naive has a blog, I don't think so. But I put something in somebody's blog. Because mm -hmm. if you say I put something in the blog, Expect immediately people are going to ask you what blog. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's this thanks. person that I like to read his blogs. Yeah, so blogs is usually like like some someone who likes to communicate. Yeah. And he writes something. Yeah. Okay, good. Harry. Mm -hmm. Give me something using uh what is it? Freeware. Freeware. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Who can explain freeware? Um, it's a... Software available for free. Yeah. Okay. For free. Yeah. It's letter A. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it can me... be I. I downloaded a video. I downloaded a music app this morning. Oh, really? Where in which app? No, just for example. <laughs> no, 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 of course, of course. But remember, you have to say the word freeware. Okay. So I downloaded a freeware for music this morning. Okay, a freeware app. App, okay. A freeware app. That remember, they are not recommended. <laughs> Anything free is really not free. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I don't understand really? Why don't cell phones get virus and computers do? Yeah, very interesting question. Yeah, I always want to ask I you know, every time I speak with an IT person, I always ask him because we download everything in our telephone that we don't download in the computer, right? Right. Yeah because computers easily get a virus, but I don't know why telephones never get a virus. So that's interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes they do, but the thing is we are not aware of that maybe. We're not. Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe maybe they get a, yes, but not like not like a computer, like, you know, you can lose everything and then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have never heard that happen. someone lose the information from the virus from the cell phone. Yes, yeah, yeah, so. or a tablet. So maybe it's a conspiracy a virus. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, next we have a webcam. Brian, give me an example of the webcam. Mm, my computer webcam uh, doesn't work anymore. All right, cool. Spyware, what is spyware? Uh, Gladys? Yeah, sorry, what did you say? What is spyware? It's not an, it's 
vaccine and, and antivirus, I think. I'm not sure. It's the letter D. Letter D. Har it says a harmful software that attacks computers. Yes, a spyware is similar uh, okay. to uh, a virus. virus. But you know what? You know, now that we're talking about that lately, I've noticed that in your telephone is, I'm sorry, it's not the letter G. I'm the, the right. Let's see. Something yes. That's that one. Yeah, because it has spy, right? Yes. Online mm -hmm. activity. It was, it was okay. called activity. Yeah, the reason is, haven't you noticed that, um, be careful, that's that's what cookies does. That's mm. Yeah. What, what, what do they do? Okay, do you have Facebook, Gladys? Yeah. Gladys, what music do you like? Are, are you a music fan or are you just like music? Yeah, I like a pop music with good, uh, some letters. Okay, so imagine in Facebook or in, let's Facebook, más que todo, you follow Lady Gaga. Yeah. Uh, you follow her on Facebook and then you, you're you constantly seeing her tags. The <clears> repente, <throat> one day you're not, you're not looking at Lady Gaga or anything, you're just scrolling in your Facebook and it says, haha, mira lo que dijo Lady Gaga cuando se cayó. And you go, wow, what? And she fell. You click on it. <laughs> you click on it. And before you read the news, it tells you, eh, esta necesita, usamos cookies. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they want. They want you to click on it. Boom. And that's by where they're spying on you. Maybe they're not going to do something to you because they're only interested in people that spend money. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, they're may, they're maybe looking at a million people and like, ah, no, she's not worth it. She's not, yeah, no, it's not, but I can't, it's not. Ah, oh, this one's interesting. It's the si compra, you know? And they start attacking you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed yeah. that lately a lot because I do it. I, I you know, every, I, I mean, I see in, in sports, like, Mira lo que hicieron cuando encontraron a Messi en el supermercado, ¿no? That's kind of interesting. Click and, oh, God, you know, <laughs> Esta página utiliza cookies. Y, oh, okay, this is a trick. I, I don't use that anymore. <laughs> so be careful with that. Okay, next we have podcast. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Laura, what is a podcast? Um, if a podcast is like an audio that talks about a topic or something. Very good. It's similar to a blog, but audio. Audio, yeah. And maybe live. What? Let me see. Instant messaging. Juana, give me an example using instant messaging. Uh, Juana, I think you are in mute. I think we lost Juana. We lost Juana. <laughs> Repeat. We lost Mayday, Mayday. We lost. Okay. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, teacher. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, Houston, Houston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I sent an instant message to my sister uh, two, days, two days ago. Okay. Is this the quiero ir más techy? Juana, ¿cómo lo podría decir? I sent an instant message to uh, my sister a few days ago y se, se quiero ir más como, uh -huh. como moderna. How do, you, how do you say it? Uh, uh, I sent an uh, I am uh, to my sister. 
I am. Oh, oh, I am. Wow, I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, thank you. Now, now that's that's the new that's the new the new no, vocabulary. Like, yeah, you know, like um, hey, imagine in Facebook, hey, I am selling a car. Oh yeah, I'm interested. Okay, PM me. Um, what is PM? Please. Private message. message. Hmm? Private message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Private message. Um, yes. Like TM in your store. Yes, exactly. You know, and that, that's what people do. You know, like, hey, I'm selling a car. If you're interested, PM only. PM. What, what, what do you think that person means? Yeah. No, but what do you think that person means? Okay, imagine I post in my, in my Facebook account, I post, I am selling my house. PM only. Info PM only. What am I saying? Um, private message. Yes. I will just give you information only in private or just inbox. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I frequently sell on Facebook. Really? In market, in market, yes, because I do it to help some people in, in where my father lives in El Pasaje. Uh -huh. There are a lot of old people. I don't know why. <laughs> and um, there's like this lady. She's, she's, she's maybe 70 years old. And uh, with the pandemic, sometimes her son sends her money. Sometimes she doesn't. He doesn't. But she she's not poor. She's not. But, you know, sometimes she needs money. And she asks me. She has a lot of beautiful things, antigüedades. Mm -hmm. Or like, yeah, or, or like gold or, or things like that. Mm -hmm. And, of course, she can't use Facebook. And, you know, so sometimes I do it for her. You know, then though, you know, but I don't, yeah. I don't really. I, I try, I remember that I tried once to sell something in Facebook, but <laughs> I never sold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I sold many things. And then my father, my father is in that age that, oh man, hey, put on the rest, put on the rest. <laughs> oh, you know, hey, the rest. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I'm always like selling something. <laughs> Good, good seller. Yeah. No, but you know, it's really, it's really not. I mean, have you ever sold a car more than once? No. Yeah, I, mm. I have done it. I have sold cars, but not for a business. I have sold my car because maybe I want to upgrade. Mm -hmm. Another one. Yeah. yeah, I want to buy mm -hmm. another one. But you know, when you sell a car, I hate, I really hate selling a car. I prefer buying to selling because people, they always tell you the same excuse, the same excuse. And the mistake they do is like, they think that is the first time you hear that in serio, you know, like, Mire, pero tiene detalles. Y mire, <laughs> este rayoncito ahí. <laughs> y ajá, yo le puse, sí, o sea, por eso puse 1999, o sea. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Y, y saqué la foto de ese rayoncito, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you know, they, they think like, they think in their mind like, oh, Um, yeah, you know, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, or if not, um, they tell you, and this is a typical one too. Okay. They tell you if I put, if I post something like, let's say, oh, okay, uh, I'm selling a drone, un drone. Oh. And that really, I was selling it because it was my son's. <laughs> Because my uncle gave my son a drone. It was a nice drone, man. But my son is four. Yes. He's... My son, my son, no, like, oh, no, 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 no
I said, I told my wife, look, I'm going to sell this and I'd rather buy him a, a tricycle or a bicycle with this. He doesn't yes. know what a drone is. And, oh man, it was so terrible. I, I, donde, donde lo vende? In San Salvador. Híjole, estamos lejos. Uh -huh. Mi anuncio dice San Salvador, you know? <laughs> You know, <laughs> because I know what they're going to say. En serio, usted donde vive? Oh, en Usulután, hijo. And I know the next step. Hey, can you give it to me cheaper? Because I have to pay the transportation. I have to pay somebody. Lo voy a pagar tanto para llevarlo, blah. And you know, they always tell you the same excuse. <laughs> so I already know what to tell them. Miren, no le sale ni usted ni a mí. O sea, va a gastar más en venir que en comprar el dron. No, 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 it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea, my friend. Yeah, but I want, yeah. And maybe they live. Or, así empiezan. ¿Y dónde, dónde vive? Y después le pregunto yo, ¿y usted dónde vive? Because if I say San Salvador, they will say en la frontera de Honduras. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but so uh, why was I mentioning selling? Oh, computer mm -hmm. virus, instant. Oh, uh, it's PM me. Yeah, it, it, PM, uh, PM me, yes. <laughs> yes. PM. Or, or you know, sometimes um, uh, I've noticed that when technology, now that technology has come, English we're, uh, is now being spoken like Spanish. Nosotros hablamos bastante diminutivo, el lic. Yes. Inge, la u. Mm -hmm. Lic. El profe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. And in English, that really never existed until now with, with the new technology. <laughs> now mm -hmm. I, can just send, I can just send somebody a chat, a PM me. Imagine PM me. Hey, please send me a private message. <laughs> that was like, you decir toda esa oración in three words now. You know? L O L. B R B. Yeah, B R B. Okay, yeah, so that's how it goes. Okay, let me see. Let's continue. Computer virus. Oh yeah, computer virus. Have you ever gotten a computer virus? Mm. Yes. Two or three times. Many times. Many times, yes. The famous Trojanos. Do, do mm. those still exist, the Trojans? No, it was like 10 years ago. Yes. I think they don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Remember before McAfee or said you need virus, you need this. Okay, let me see. So see here it says lesson objective. By the end of this class, participants will learn, participate, and use passive or the present continuous, present perfect, and the future. Do you know what is a passive voice before we continue? Mm. Yeah. What a is a it's in a way to express something that the maybe the action is important than to the the, the subject, yeah. Yeah, the, the subject. Okay, good. Pay attention to this. In my opinion, for you to learn to speak passive, you have to understand what is active too. What is an active voice and what is a passive voice? I'm going to give you a very simple example and you tell me if that was active or passive. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Active. Active. It's active. Okay, why is it active? Because you're going to, it's going to. You're making emphasis in the, in, in who did the action. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what is the passive? Uh, maybe uh, the, the mouse, what? The mouse. 
was it's, eaten by the cat. It's going to be eaten by the cat. Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay, good. So if I say, okay, hey, look, the cat is going to eat the mouse, or I can say, hey, look, the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. What's the difference? There's no difference. I mean, the, the mouse is dead. The mouse is dead. Yes. The difference, but, but if you ever ask, hey, entonces, so why do you say it in two forms? Because there's one active way of speaking and one passive. Active is when we put the subject first and the object last. Mm -hmm. So yes, the mouse is going to eat the cat is active because I started with the subject. Mm -hmm. Passive would be, hey, look, the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. I started with the object. Mm -hmm. That's the grammatical explanation. And then, vuelve la misma pregunta. So what's the difference? Es lo mismo. Ah, there's a big difference. It's because who do you want to make important? The subject or the object? That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who do you want to make important? Do you want to make the cat important? Yeah. Um, hey, mira, 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 mira. The cat is going to eat the mouse. You want to make the mouse important? Oh my God, oh my God. Look at the mouse. It's going to be eaten by the cat. Yes. But normally, 80% of the time, naturally, we speak active. Yeah, actually. Okay. So that's the difference between active and a passive voice. It was a very good explanation, actually. Hey, thank you. Um, very simple, but very <laughs> Yeah, I like, I like, you know, that kiss, keep it simple. <laughs> I, li I like those explanations. I don't like giving grammatical explanations. Because yeah. When I give a big grammatical explanation and I look at the faces, do you understand that people say, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't think grammatical is really complicated. You know what? And you know, this is a perfect example of how I can recommend you to practice your English. If mm -hmm. I do this, I used to do this when I would teach TOEFL. Oh, okay. You cannot believe the most simple things sometimes is the most complicated. I remember I used to tell my students, okay, uh, Guillermo, you are from Brazil. Uh, Brian, you are from Iraq. Uh, Kelly, you are from, um, I don't know, India. And I am from El Salvador, right? okay. oh, oh, Philippines, Philippines. And I would tell, uh, maybe I'll say, Laura, you are from El Salvador, and I will start from El Salvador. Okay, Laura, can you tell us what is a typical, what is the, so I tell them, okay, so imagine we are, everybody's from a different part of the world, and we don't really know about your culture. So mm -hmm. I say, okay, Laura, what is the typical food of your country? Obviously, she's going to say, ah, pupusas. Mm -hmm. What are pupusas? That's mm -hmm. what your ability comes. Well, that's what I recommend you because literally I do not know what are pupusas. So everything I'm going to learn is because of your explanation. And, yeah. and I remember my TOEFL students, pupusas, what, what is that? And I remember they would say like, <laughs> And I said, I don't know, I don't know, what is that? <laughs> and you know, then they start, um, you know, and then, and then they start, they start like working, 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 like, you know, I start la conclusión, what is a pupusa? It's dough, you know? It's a tortilla. It be, yeah, it can be a, yeah, or, or you can start. Do you know what is a tortilla? No, yeah. okay, or season, yes, that would be great. Okay, it's similar like to a tortilla, but it's stuffed. Ahí van estas palabras que ustedes quieren aprender, que no saben. Okay, o sea, stuffed. Stuffed. Mm. It's, a, it's like a tortilla stuffed. And inside, um, normally, the, the, the traditional ones, people put beans, cheese, and pork. Some people only like beans and cheese. Some people only like cheese and some people like it mixed. So you stuff it with all those ingredients and you grill it until it's ready to eat and it's delicious. Yeah. And when, you know, and people start getting, oh, okay. 
that's that's a very good practice um, because it puts your ability to to think in English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really yeah that that's one good trick I, I do. I always tell them. Okay, let, let me give an example. What is see, look, and watch? What is the difference? Look and watch. Do you have? Do you have I think children? That watch is it's for when you're looking at uh, TV or something like that, and look is watching something that is not a technology. Brian, do you, have a little, sure. do you have a little brother or sister? Yes. You, you do? How old? Yes, is? I have. A, she is 10 years old. Your brother or sister? Sister. Oh, your sister. Okay. So your sister says, in the escuela, they said, okay, class, tomorrow you have to give me an explanation. What is the difference between see, look, and watch? Ah, le voy a preguntar a mi hermano, a Brian, because he knows, he, he speaks English. All right? So, Brian, Brian, fíjate que me dijeron, ¿qué es la diferencia de see, look, and watch? Dude, you have to explain to your 10-year-old sister. And she's, she, imagine she's, okay, explain to me, what is the difference? Pay attention. No, it's Brian, or... te estoy poniendo contra la pared, yo sé. ¿Qué explanation sería esto? Okay, mira, watch, watch is like, watch TV. <laughs> look is como like, hey, look. Y, y sí es, hi, do you see me? <laughs> y después, <laughs> o sea, you understand? <laughs> La gente va a decir, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, quedaron igual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, always, always think that you're explaining to your little sister because Nunca han visto cómo le explicamos a niños inconscientemente. We use hands. We yeah. use like we use the simplest yes. form Thank to try you. to explain them. If you explain that in English, that's a very good way to practice. Yes. yes. Yeah. ¿Qué es alboroto? Una vez me habló mi clase. Okay, teacher. We're we're speaking about typical candies. A mí me gustan los alborotos de la Diana. And they, they, they taught me, me quedé like, what? Like, Teacher, explíqueme que es alboroto. Yo, what is it? I mean, I know what it is, but how, how do I? Entonces, alboroto. Es, That's a good one. Yeah, they got, I, I always remember that. Yeah, but how, how do I explain that? Alboroto. My like, see you, my see you. I don't know. So you know what I did? I went to the basic. Okay, alboroto, number one is popcorn. Popcorn, yeah. Yeah. It's a ball made. Yeah. Popcorn number two is covered with sugar. Mm -hmm. And what kind of sugar? Uh, I don't know. Brown, uh, brown, brown sugar. Brown, brown sugar. Yeah. So, so I told her, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so alboroto would be um, popcorn covered with brown sugar candy. Mm -hmm. It's a candy. It's like, oh, yeah. It, and I was really happy porque hey, that's a good explanation because really <laughs> yes yeah so it would be a brown sugar covered popcorn candy and you see that's not that's not really something difficult to explain mm -hmm. not not grammatical it's just that you you th you have to think of the correct words so try that when you stand solos vean mm -hmm. chuco yeah try tomorrow when you stand solos how the hell do I explain what is chuco? <laughs> yeah, then you, you know, you have to edit it's, one and piece. You know, in my case, the problem is that I don't know the ingredients of a chuco. Yeah, okay. If you don't, then that's a problem. If you don't yeah. know Spanish, <laughs> you will not know in English. How, how, do you, how do you say maíz tostado? Toast corn. Toasted <laughs> <don't> corn. <laughs> or corn toasted. Corn toasted. Uh, Ah, mm -hmm. si va a decir el, el proceso, you toast the corn and then you blend. No sé si. Uh -huh. yes. um... yeah. Oh, otra cosa, eh, pan con pavo, pan con pollo. <laughs> Mucha gente, with you, turkey. Yeah, you, but yeah. You, see, you see, that's the problem because I remember in Christmas, I would ask my students, what are you going to eat on Christmas? 
Ah, bread with turkey. Porque en español es pan con pavo. <laughs> and I tell them, so you're going to eat bread and turkey. Oh. No, no I'm going no. to eat bread and turkey. Bread with turkey. Oh, no, then you're explaining to me a sandwich. Mm. Oh, teacher, no sandwich. Yeah, that's a sandwich. But you can say a Salvadorian <laughs> type sandwich. Yeah. Because okay. it's, it's wild. If you, if you say it in English, bread with turkey. You had on bread with turkey. So I think of the two ingredients separate. But yes. you want to tell me, un pan con pavo, nosotros es un sandwich. It's a sandwich, really. <laughs> Pero soy mm -hmm. raro porque pensamos que sándwich solo es pan de caja. Yes. <laughs> Subway. Subway is a sandwich. Oh, okay. So, class, before we go, vamos, no lo voy a dejar con la duda. What's the difference between see, look, and watch? See, look, um, and watch. Watch is paying attention or, or focusing um, something. Okay. And it's C is a glance or let me see. Okay, look. Um, uh, instant. Jose Feliciano. You know Jose Feliciano, right? Yes. No se ha muerto, ¿verdad? No. I don't no. think so. Okay. Let, imagine he's alive. I don't know if he's dead or alive. He can't see, look, or watch. He can't see. Yeah, he cannot see. Okay, why? Por qué why? Por qué sí? Because C is an ability. Yes, I mm. can. No, I can't. Okay. Ability. Yeah, you say okay. you can say it. You don't say you can watch it. That's why. That's why every time when you say C, you always say it con can. Hey, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Pero no significa que o sos ciego o no, because ahorita todos podemos ver aquí en la clase, pero unos mejores que otros. Mm -hmm. For example, me, I can see very good from a long distance, but from a short distance, I can't see very good. Mm -hmm. Some people can't see in a long distance, only in a short distance. It's your ability. Por eso, es, por eso que la gente pregunta, can you see? No preguntan, um, can you watch? You watch? Can, you look? <laughs> can you watch me? No, can you see? Every time you ask with can is because it's ability. Okay. Hey, can you dance? Can you drive? Can you speak English? It's an ability. So, okay, entonces, ¿qué es sí? Sí, es an ability. <laughs> ability. Now we have look and watch. You look at a painting. You look at a picture. Painting. You picture. look at the beautiful mountains. What do those have in common? The painting, the mountains? They are specific objects. They, are not, they are not doing an action. They are not moving. Okay. okay. So you look at things that don't move. So if look is no action, what is watch? Action. Watch the beam. With action. Ahora, si yo me acabo de comprar una tele de 60 pulgadas y quiero que la vean. Hey, come here, come here. Sweet. Yeah. Un ejemplo. <laughs> like, hey, look at my TV. Look at my TV. No la he encendido. O sea, quiero que la vean. Look. Yes. Wow. You know, I mean, you know, the typical man, you know, we start looking in the back, in the front, in the bottom. Wow, man, this is cool. Yeah. We're not interested in watching that one. We're looking at it like, wow, this is nice. That's when you look at a TV. When you watch a TV is well, when, you know, you're watching a normal TV channel. So the reglas son esas. See is an ability. Look is no action. Watch is an action. Pero si van a ver, hey, did you see the movie Titanic? Eh, it's acceptable, pero gramaticalmente, 
things did you watch? Did you watch? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Paris Sanberg, did you see that? Did you watch? Es que más, como mucha gente no sabe, los nat gente nativa no sabe ni la diferencia de decir lo que watch. Es como en español, ver, mirar. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yo después del see, see, look and watch aprendí que es la diferencia de ver y mirar. Entonces me puse a pensar, José Feliciano no puede ver o no puede mirar. Ver, ah, entonces ver es habilidad. Mirar would be look. Mirar. ¿Dónde está Juan? Oh, está mirando la pintura. Pero mirar en Spanish es look and watch. So that's the difference. Entonces, pero si algún día oyen, hey, pero ¿por qué a veces dicen, hey, he's, he's watching the baby? Depende, porque si el baby está dormido, obviamente no está haciendo nada. Go look, go look at the baby. Los que tienen bebés, ¿se acuerdan recién nacido? Hey, wait, wait, I'm going to go look at the baby. Solo por... Right? Y después hasta le ponemos para ver si está respirando porque no se mueve. <laughs> I remember I used to do that with my baby. Like, oh my God, he's not moving. Watch the baby. It's like, really, I'm babysitting. O sea, I'm watching TV, but I'm watching my baby because he's playing or he's doing something. Yes? Okay, so Brian... In, in, in a very simple form, what is the difference between see, look, and watch? Uh, when we are referring to see, it's uh, an ability or related to the capacity that we have to see things. Yes. Uh, look is uh, referred to the action that we action. appreciate something without action and watch when we appreciate something that has a match. Okay, good. So now if your little sister asks you, hey, Brian, mira, fíjate que me dijeron que es la diferencia de look, y que es look, you can see. And you tell her, okay, look, little sister, see is yes, I can see, or no, I can't. Es habilidad, you know. <laughs> you know, yes. es una mejor explicación de, okay, see es como, va, mira, do you see that tree? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I see that. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. good. Look, look, come on. Okay, look, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> yeah? See <laughs> that. He watches, come on, watch TV. You know? Entendiste? See that. I see. Pepa, la dejaste igual. Yeah? Okay, class. Um, um, yeah. So remember, that's, uh, that's a recommendation I can give to you. Always, if you want to practice good English, or you want to practice your skill of printing English, do what I do with my TOEFL classes. Que parece muy fácil. Yeah, what, what are pupusas? Can you explain that to me, please? You know, that that's like, what the hell? How do I explain what is a pupusa? Like, no, 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 no. Give me a, an explanation. No sé, digan que es... Yo les recomiendo empiecen con comida típica. Que es... Nuegados. Técnicamente son eh, masa de yuca o, o masa <risa> eh, freída en aceite, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. Deep fried. Deep fried. Yeah. So little pieces of, or, or balls of, of, of dough, deep fried in oil and covered with honey. Algo así. No, no le están diciendo ellos, es rico, es feo, no. Te están preguntando qué es. Porque después, pues, is it good? Oh, yeah, it's very good, but you drink that with chilate. Oh, what is chilate? Oh, <laughs> what is chilate? Oh, you see that. Yeah. Okay, class. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, teacher. See you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Wednesday. See you, people. You too. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye, teacher.